Oh, it's me, Mr. H. Um, we're getting ready for have a bit of a, a feast again. Mr. H is throwing them in. I'm going to finish them off in a bit. Basically, I want to talk about bees. Now, the dying out. In 1988, we had five million bees in the world. Uh, in now, they reckon there's about 2.5 million bees in the world. Now don't quote me on these figures, I've just grabbed them off the internet. In 2006, um, a coin, a term was coined for the destruction of bees called, what was it called? I'll just check my paper. Colony Collapse Disorder, which is when, when bees just desert the hive. Uh, they, 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 they leave enough food for the queen and, and some younger bees and then they just all leave. And they reckon, they reckon there's a, since 90s we've been using a pesticide called neonicotinoids which have obviously from some nicotine chemical in them but that is um, as well as getting rid of insects whatever it, it, it's very harmful to bees and causes disorientation with them and they don't know where they're going and things like that you know but the thing is Mr H as I've researched 70% of the world's food sources rely on bees. Bee cotton is made by bees, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they reckon if uh, bees died out, we'd only have wheat, corn, and rice to eat. Well, they pollinate things, don't they? Well, exactly, would there be no flowers, they'd be fucking... People don't realise um, that, that it's a... It's a I, Einstein is quoted as saying, if bees die out, um, man, will be four years later. No, it's not Einstein who said that. I've done some research. It was a bloke called Maurice Maeterlinck. It was a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, he wrote a book, The Life of the Bee, kind of thing. But I'm actually thinking of doing a bit of beekeeping and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't mind getting my own hive, you know. And I do right. hope you have permission from the council to do Well, do you, th I don't, do you think council would let me grow bees in me, not grow, uh, have some bees in my garden? I'm sure there's some little malar somewhere. Yeah. And someone will be able to fill us in on that. Yeah, uh, anybody know anything about beekeeping, um, let us know, basically, because um, that's what I talk about. And being, when you see a bumblebee, try and be kind to bees. When you see a bumblebee on the pavement that's obviously looks like it's on its last legs they're not on their last legs basically um, I wish that cunt was on his last legs he's on that crosser but he shouldn't be over it yeah but the bees are just tired and if you get any water and sugar and put it on them they'll, they'll eventually buzz off or something with sugar in it you know so if you see a bee on the floor help it out it's a bit tired you know what I mean I know a lot of you'll be laughing at that thinking fuck off but you know what I mean, I have a bit of compassion to other living creatures. That's what's wrong with the world. There's no compassion anymore, you know. Thoughts, Mr. H? Well, it's a, it's a good thought, really, what you've pointed out regarding bees. Um, I never really, you don't give it much thought, do you? To no, be I'll be honest you with you. don't realise, but it, it is a very, it's fragile and it, everything links into it, everything it's else. It's the, the, the vital for the ecosystem of the planet, you know, the, the bees and... You might think that the fuck are well. well I, I think could, people I could, can confuse them with wasps, don't they? And on it, so I could live without honey. You know, well, it's um, about that, is it? you know, but really, uh, you have to think about it. I mean, there's a lot of factors why bees are dying. Out. Is it ge is it genetically modified crops? You know, I know Mr. H, we we don't really agree on chemtrails, but is it is it chemtrails what are doing it? Is it you know, there's that many toxins in our in our systems in the world, as I always say. Uh, you know, but perhaps they they're killing bees off. But since the nineties, we've been using a chemical pesticide called nico ni, nicotine. Ni, oh fucking hell! It's something nicotine neo nicotinoids. That's it. I'm sorry, I'd never make a television presenter, as well as being a shit cameraman. You know, like I said, if you see a bumblebee on the floor. Pick don't it up, stamp don't it. stamp on it, pick it up and it's just tired, uh, try and get some sugar somewhere. And, and despite popular belief, I think bees, are, they don't attack, do they, unless they're, unless they're threatened or no, threatened they no, are. It's, they're not um, like wasps, wasps it, sting you for fun. No, but bees are important, so really, be good to bees and all that.
Come on up. See what you did. Thank you very much. Right, best get some cooking done.